Hello everybody, welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage show and tell video. And today we will be looking at one of the model kits that I built back in the past based off of AMT Ertl's Trophy Series 1932 Ford V8, which was a pretty decent model. You can find this one in our reviews and actually our model car unboxing videos, I should say. I have this one and I'm unboxing it. But here's one that I built a long time ago when I was just a young guy. Maybe about 14 years old, I think I was at the time. I remember I would uh, build model cars and then I'd take them over to my grandma's house in, uh, well, <laughs> you know, in a different house. <laughs> and then I would show her these. I'd bring about 10 model cars and put them on the table and show them to her. And she always thought they were great. I remembered back in the days when these were all around as real cars, of course, in her time. So anyway, let's go down. I'm getting shaky hands here. Let's uh, just go down to our bench and I'll show you my 1932 Ford Fiaton. Here we have our 1932 Ford Fiaton. And I built this, I do believe, when I was about 14 years old. All of the body color and the fenders were painted with a brush, as well as the roof, of course. And you can see it, it was done quite well. I even have these um, copper pinstripes going around. A 70s style California license plate. <laughs> Should replace that with a 30s one. Again, it was quite easy to build this model car. You can see a little bit of uh, black paint muck on here. I noticed a couple of spots where you can see some glue that, you know, got on the paint. And I did wax this car for the video. And uh, I found that there was a lot of dust on it originally. Of course, I removed the dust and then I, wa I waxed it. And the black paint was coming off in the wax, which, of course, that's supposed to happen. You're polishing it down. But um, there is a lot of shine on those fenders, but there are some cloudy spots as well. Uh, tires, again, were painted with a spinner and uh, not really machined out, though. Sanded down on the treads. But still, the attempt was quite good for the age. Uh, and now we can take a look under the hood. Now we can take the hood off our Fiaton. And... Here you can see the excellent AMT Flathead 60, named of course because it had 60 horsepower. Again painted with that dark green. You can see our white spark plugs up here, as well as our radiator cap, and there's our air cleaner on that engine. Maybe I can zoom in here. Oh, I'm going out of focus. <laughs> okay, but there it is. The uh, two radiator hoses up top going into that nice 32 Ford grill and radiator assembly. Again, it wasn't very hard to build. And uh, these engines are nice because they do have the mounts up front, which is universal to all the AMT Trophy Series cars, which of course this was one of that old series back in 1962. Here we have our 1932 Ford Fiaton from the underside. And as you can see, we have our nice little fuel tank here, our Ford rear axle with the torque tube and differential back here, as well as our radius rods. Then here we've got our exhaust pipe, which for some reason I only painted the muffler on it back in the day. And then we have our front suspension here, the sort of wishbone style. You can see that I scraped off the seam lines and everything. So I was getting quite advanced at this stage, but still was painting everything with a brush, which ended up working out really well. So now let's take a look at some of the photographs of this car.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at my 1932 Ford Fiaton that I built so long ago. And this was brush painted, of course, so if you are just a new person learning model cars and whatnot, and you do brush paint things, just uh, keep in mind that you can get nice results like this using nothing more than a brush. So I do have a few more Fiatons that I've built in the past, and in future videos I would love to show them with you. So what did you like about this video? Have you built this car in the past? And if so, how did you build it? Stock, custom, drag? Did you end up switching parts with other AMT model cars, or how did it all work? And what do you think of the old Trophy series from 1962 that uh, is still in circulation today, still being released by Round 2 and all the rest? Let us know all down in the comments below, and until next time, we'll say happy model building! Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is... it We are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building. <laughs>